Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. Here we are at the Witch Farm, but we're not going to stay here. Today, we've got some preparation to do for 1.11, which is just around the corner, and we've got to do that over at the Iron Farm. So let's get started. Before we head over to the spawn chunks, what we're going to do is take a quick, quick check for our standard installment of Witch Farm Perimeter Update. You ready? Let's turn around. Here we go. All right. So we are even further. The last section that we did was from outside of here all the way out 50 blocks this way. And now our walkway is extending over over the recently cleared out just finished this this morning so we're continuing that we've got I've moved a beacon over there uh, from that section right there okay so we are moving out and that beacon is now covering the last couple of beacon quadrants that are going to be just inside the perimeter uh, right over there so uh, from that beacon we're gonna have a quadrant just at the corner and then this one right here so we are progressing even further we're almost halfway done we still got this beacon and it's full effect to get so let's see there's one quadrant there and one quadrant there and then over in the distance you can see another beacon and we've got three quadrants that it's covering right there so uh, still progressing it's an ongoing thing you can see I've got bunch of silk touch picks and fortune picks I've got to go repair those but that's not what we're doing today instead we are going over to the spawn chunks and I will meet you over there and discuss the problem that we're trying to solve and here we are at the spawn chunks it's been a while since we've been over here but I think it's high time to come back. Uh, I don't think I've done much work around. Oh, uh -oh. what? What is going on here? Hmm. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. Basket was recently asking for some cobblestone, and I do believe. Yep. Yep. Sure enough. He, he may have been taking out lots and lots of minecart chests. Yep, sure enough. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. I told him he could have all the cobble that I've dug out of there. He will probably be visiting the witch farm soon to grab the cobble from there. I'm not sure why he needs it, but apparently he does need it. Oh, and I see a stray sheep, and I want to keep this whole area clear of passive mobs. And I need more mutton. So there we go. It's almost nighttime. Now, the reason why we're over here is because we've got a little problem coming up in Minecraft 1.11. Version 1.11 is just around the corner, and that means we are going to have to do some updates. Why? Well, there is a new rule in, uh, in 1.11 called Max Entity Cramming. And I should have done this before uh, when I was already in here. I need I need some dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay, that should be good. Um, there's a new game rule called Max Entity Cramming. And what that's going to say is any entities above a certain amount in a one block space are going to suffocate. And the default value is 24. Now, uh, you might be wondering what does that have to do with us here at the iron farm well it has to do with the fact that in this area right here in this tower of villagers we've got 33 or thereabouts and um, how how do we know well I'll show you in just a bit but we've got more than 24 and we're going to turn down their noise. I can edit this in post-processing. You don't have to hear it. They're not hostile. They're friendly. Yeah, okay. So we've got more than 24. And so when we update to 1.11, what might happen is we might run into an issue 
where some or all of these villagers suffocate if I don't do anything. So let's just um, eat a little bit. And then I'm going to show you how I know for sure how many entities there are. We're going to bring up the F3 screen. And it's going to show you in the top corner here under E how many entities you've got. So right now it says 36. That's kind of surprising. It could mean that they have been breeding, which is not good. So there's 37. Uh, could be... Hmm. How about, what if we did this and then like here? That's 35. And the reason I'm, I'm trying to make sure to go from this angle is because it's going to go with whatever's in your view. And that would include those towers. So we've got 33 right there. Okay, good. So there are 33. And we need to take that down to... Uh, 24 or less. I'm going to take it down. We can't go below 20 and we can't have it higher than um, higher what higher than 24. So we've got a little bit of a window that we can play with. What we're gonna do is try and grab some of these guys using uh, by falling off the platform there. Oh, uh, you know what we could we could do that okay and then grab some more dirt and then we'll make sure to light this whole place up so that we don't get any zombies hanging out that would be bad while we have them in a vulnerable position so what I'm gonna do is just grab my silk touch uh, silk touch pick and we're going to see if we can get Oh, a little bit of boat action. I don't know if this is going to work. It might work, it might not, but we shall see. So let's let's just make let's make one boat for now. I probably have a bunch somewhere else, but let's see if we can pick one up. We picked two up. Okay, well that is going to make things uh, pretty pretty good, um, but I can't move the boat. It's not quite what I was expecting. Can we, how about F3, is it B? Yeah, okay, that's going to show the hitboxes. Can we get that? We can't get the boat. So there's, yeah, we've got their hitboxes that are kind of messing things up. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually move you. I want you off the platform. And what we will do is get ourselves in a bit of a pickle, but that's fine. Oh, there he is. And we can turn off those. So the reason I don't want to just go ahead and indiscriminately kill these guys is because, um, well, I, I want to take them over to Hi uh, Port Hypermine. So we're going to try and get them out to out to the bay can we do that come on dude okay and we can move you I didn't really think this through so this is kind of the process that I'm going to be following and we'll just take him out to the water hopefully hopefully this will work come on dude um, hmm I wonder if he'll go up that way? No. Hmm. <laughs> well, we can do that and that and that and then throw that boat down. I don't have the boat anymore. I lost the boat. It's in the storage system. So I'll have to do this again. Moving villagers can be a pain sometimes. Let's make another boat. And then I should have also um, turned off the farm while I was at it because we are ruining the we're ruining the spawning mechanics for the iron golem so I may have to do some clearing later so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy out to the middle here and then what we'll do is um, well I'll get a few more of these guys and we'll see about 
trying to get that to work. All right. Um, so get ready for a potentially uh, very funny time lapse. All right. this is quite a sight to behold. Hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse back there. We need to go clean up. But let's just count here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. So we should have 23 over in the iron farm still. So let's go back and check just to be sure. The reason why I've pulled them out this far is to make sure that they don't get within the pathing of any zombies at least that are on the surface. They may attract some that are in caves down below. But that is perfectly fine. Let's just grab that boat. We're going to need that as we move them over to Port Hypermine. Now, what I could have done is just move them a little bit and then kind of disposed of each one individually. But I really, I, I think that's just cruel. So I want to take them over to Port Hypermine. That's not going anywhere, is it? Just a little bit. Anyway, whatever. Ender pearling for the win. Is it? It's too high. Okay, I see the problem. Lovely. <laughs> uh, a professional right here. Yeah, so let's try that. I really don't want to get inside the iron farm because there is lava. Uh, this is not, not good. No. Can we get to where we need to go? I don't think we can. Not easily. 
Uh, how about up this way? Yeah. Yeah, so I could have, uh, I guess, maybe um, just, just gotten rid of them in the old-fashioned way. But that's not kind. And so I want to be sure that we are being kind to our villager brethren. And, and so I didn't want to just sit there and dispose of them. We're going to take them to a retirement over in Port Hypermine. Now, they may meet with various and sundry uh, zombies that might be living over there that want to, uh, you know, take care of them. Well, you know what? That did not end up too badly. Uh, I was figuring I'd have to get out the piston and, and do that trick to, to get them to move out of the way. But... There we go. So cleanup is occurring, and that means we can progress to the next step, which is moving these guys over to Port Hypermine, which is going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting endeavor indeed. But I did have to turn off the iron farm. It got a little bit laggy as soon as I moved those villagers out. It was trying to figure out uh, what I guess it was trying to figure out what village does this thing belong to. And uh, so I think I think we should be good to go now. Hopefully we don't have any iron golems hanging out outside of the farm. That should get me in there. Okay, and then... Okay, that's going to allow the auto timer to go. Okay, let's do it like that. And then we've got one more... Uh, one more thing over here. Can we... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the main timer right there. And then this is the timer that says if no iron golems have come by in a certain amount of time, re I'll automatically reset the farm. So we're just resetting it just to be sure that all the villages get cleared out or any subsequent villages that may have been formed get cleared out. And I'll just have to watch this to be sure. They tend to, uh, if the villages are malformed, the golems tend to focus over on that corner. So I'll just have to watch that. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these villagers over to Port Hypermine. And so, you know what? I think, I think that's going to be another time lapse in and of itself. So let me, uh, let me get this cleaned up here. I just lost a piece of dirt, but that's fine. We got plenty of dirt from the various digging projects. And then we can do that and leave it as we found it or better Geronimo okay so I am going to move these villagers over to Port Hypermine I'll bring you along for potential derpiness that may ensue all right hopefully you enjoy Well, that was a silly little adventure. Tried to figure out the best way to get these villagers out. A little cactus trick did not work so well. And 
anyway, we've uh, we have nine new villagers in the area here. Where is my boat? Thank you. I don't think that's quite fixed until 1.11. So, so yeah, we've got nine new villagers. You might be wondering, I thought you did 10. I thought you had 10 there. So, and I did have 10. One, unfortunately, did not make it due to, uh, well, unforeseen circumstances in getting out of the boat over at the cactus area. That should give them another village and maybe it will, no, it's probably too far to, to pull that village over to it. But uh, I don't know how long those guys are going to live. This area is not well protected. That's fine. Yeah, we, we unfortunately lost one. And, and yeah, so we're only up to nine new residents, but they're now out of the iron farm, which means we should not hit the max entity cramming rule. We've got 23 in the detector villager slot, and I did have to reset the iron farm. We can go back and check that. I'll probably do that off camera. But one of the things that I wanted to bring you along for real quick is just this ride over to the iron farm. Watch as it loads in. So I saw that quite a few times, and we'll see how many I end up putting into the, the final, what is it, time, time lapse there. There we go. It's just coming into view, just loading in. That is an impressive sight indeed. But it just shows that we are not done with this castle. We've got to come back here and dress it up. Those, those walls are boring. It's given the, the rough structure. We've got to get Basket to clean up his stuff there. But we need to add some details, some walls, some crenellations, some towers. We need to do it up. And we're going to be getting closer and closer to that because, yeah. Anyway, we've got the witch farm. It's coming along quite well. The skeleton grinder is coming along quite well. But we've got enough projects around here. We're not going to get bored anytime soon. But we'll see about visiting the iron farm once again in the near future. Anyway. This is probably a bit on the short side, but that's what I had planned for today. It looks like the iron farm has reset itself. See the three lights right there? That means that we're all good. Uh, and just in case you think that all of that was recorded all at once, no, there was a span of about four hours where I was not recording. So um, between getting those villagers out of the iron farm and moving them over to uh, over to Port Hypermine. Yep. So about four hours or so. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.